Today, I'm going to teach you how to weave a plain weave, a tabby stripe, a tabby checkered, and a tabby twill. These could turn into anything you want. Coasters, headpiece, bikini, earrings, it's up to you. To weave these four swatches, you will need a frame loom, a comb, two needles, a needle threader, four yarns, scissors, and if you want to go an extra mile with finishing, you would need metal beads and o-rings. First thing we do is building the foundation. Unwind the yarn and wrap it securely around the base of the loom. Do not double knot since we will be taking this off when we are done with weaving. Position the yarn in between the first and the second notch and then move to the same position on top. Make your way down to the bottom and continue progressing one notch at a time. This technique is called a single warp, where we use one single strand for each dent. It's important to maintain a consistent tension while warping. Once you reach the second last notch, we'll tie it once again around the base of the frame just as we did at the beginning. Let's start with plain weave. We're going to use a white wool yarn for the warp, white and gray mohair for the weft. Plain weave is fairly simple. We'll start on the right side and go over one thread, then under, over, under, all the way to the left side. Go ahead and pull out the thread all the way, giving it a gentle comb down. For the second row, we'll do the opposite of what we did before. Start on the left side and go over and under, over, under, repeating the pattern until you reach the right. Gently pull out the thread, be mindful not to pull it too tight. Maintaining a balanced tension is important for the weft. That's all you gotta know for plain weave. You go over and under, over and under, and then for the next row, you just go the opposite, under and over, under and over. From now on, all you need to do is repeat these two rows until you reach the top. Squeeze in one last row and pull it out. You don't really have to comb it at this point because it wouldn't work. Just cut the yarn off and unwind the bottom of the warp and pop it off. We're moving on to tabby stripe. We're going to use brown for the warp, white and gray separately for the weft. Set up the warp with the brown yarn. You can go back to the first chapter of this video for detailed instructions for warping. With the same yarn as the warp, start the tabby weave with two rows of plain weave. This is going to be super helpful when you're taking the woven off of the loom. It won't let things slide. Thread the gray and white on separate needles. Make sure they are the same length. With the white mohair, go over two threads. Under two, over two, under two. Repeat all the way to the left side. Pull out the thread and gently comb it down. Now for the second row, use the gray thread. We're going to do the opposite from what we did for the first row. Begin with going under two, then over two, under two, over two. Same thing, repeat all the way. Pull it out, comb it down. With the ends that are hanging loose, I like to simply double knot and cut the excess. For the third row, use the white. You are going to do the same pattern you did for the first row. Under, over, under, over, all the way. For the fourth row, use the gray. Do the same pattern you did for the second gray row. Over two, under two, over two, under two. One tip I want to mention is when you're transitioning from one thread to another is to make sure you cross. This will secure the threads onto the side. Now, repeat rows one to four all the way to the top. Like you did for the other loose ends, Double knot and cut. Just like we started, we are going to end with two rows of plain weave to secure the ends. Unwind, pop it off, and now you have a tabby stripe. Let's weave this cutest tabby checkered. We're going to use the brown for the warp, for the weft, gray and brown separately. By now, you should know how to warp. If not, Go back in this video. Start with two rows of plain weave. With the same brown thread as the warp, go four over, four under, over, under until you reach the left side. Pull out, comb it down. 
for the gray mohair, you're going to do the opposite of what you did for the brown. Four under, four over, four under, four over, until you reach the left side. Make sure you cross the other thread and pull the gray out. Comb it down gently. Double knot the two ends together and cut it. Again, for the brown, you're going to do the same thing you did for the first row. Under four, over four, under four, over four. For the fourth row, you're going to use the gray and do over four, under four, all the way. Again, make sure you're not pulling too tight. An even tension is everything for weaving. Now repeat rows one to four one more time. You should now have eight rows in total, four gray and four brown. Before we move on to the next block of squares, we're gonna do two more of plain weave. Now we want the gray square to be positioned on the alternate side where the brown square used to be and vice versa. Starting off with the brown, we are going to go four under, four over, all the way to the left. With the gray, do the opposite of what you are doing to the brown. Four over, four under, all the way. Now repeat that three more times. Again, finish off this block with two rows of plain weave. We've completed one repeat of tabby checkered. Now all you gotta do is repeat this until you reach the top. Once you reach the top, double knot the two ends together and cut it off. We're going to finish off with two rows of plain weave. Cut it off, unwind, pop it off, and there you have it. Finally, we reached our final swatch, tabby twill. We're going to use white for the warp, white for one of the weft, and gray and brown together as the other weft. First things first, let's set up the warp. Like any other tabby, we're starting off with two rows of plain weave. We're going to be using the white that you use for the warp and the plain weave. We're going to go three under, three over, three under, three over, all the way to the right. Pull it out and comb it down gently. With the brown and gray, we're going to do the opposite. Three over, three under, three over, three under. A twill is a type of weaving pattern that creates a diagonal design on the fabric, which means that we will be shifting the weft threads by one more warp thread to the right. With the white, we're going to go two over, three under, three over, three under, three over, three under, until you reach the end. You probably are noticing how the end warp threads are not three over nor three under. It is because we've shifted the pattern to the right by one thread. It might be confusing for now, but follow exactly as I do on the screen and you'll get the hang of it soon. Now with the brown and gray, we're going to do the opposite of what you just did for the white. 2 under, 3 over, 3 under, 3 over. The reason twills don't fall evenly at the end of the warp is due to the nature of weaving. In a twill pattern, each weft thread passes over a certain number of warp threads, then under the next set of warp threads, creating a diagonal pattern. When weaving reaches the end of the warp, the last few passes of the weft don't have enough warp threads to create the complete diagonal pattern. As a result, the twill lines appear to stop or fade out near the end of the fabric. Keep shifting your weft to the right by one thread and work your way to the top. Squeeze in two rows of the plain weave and tie it off, cut it off, unwind, pop it off, and that's your final swatch, tabby twill.